So good morning or good night depending on where you are in the world and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host Hector and today we're going to talk about the brand new album by the band Theocracy and it's called Mosaic and this is the band's fifth album. So for those of you that don't know they're a power metal band that mixes progressive sound in their music and they haven't had an album in a few years now and Obviously, they talk about their Christian beliefs in their music, but in a way that it's not like, you know, that it's subtle. And this is a very good album. Uh, it's 10 tracks and it's more than an hour in length. And the band really uh, on this album uh, does a great blend of power metal with progressive metal and even some fresh metal uh, like riffing in some of the songs. So. This is an album that would appeal to a power metal fan and a progressive metal fan, but it's not progressive metal in like a very off-putting way. There, you know, there's like great long songs here, but you know, they're palpable. You know, they're easy to listen to people who are not really into that super experimental progressive side of metal. So no, it's, it's more power metal, but with those progressive tendencies. So yeah, the 10 tracks, I think that the standout here of this album is the vocals. Matt Smith vocals are great. They're super clean sounding. You can understand what he's singing and they're very like filled with emotions. And also this is an album that's very guitar driven. The guitar here uh, plays a very important part of almost all the songs. And there's a lot of like, there's so many great solos on this effort that almost every song has a great soloing on it. That doesn't mean that the other instruments are not important, but yeah, this is carried by the vocals and the guitar playing, in my opinion. So the themes that they cover on this album, you know, it's all about like uh, faith and believing in yourself and other uh, types of themes. It's a very hopeful record. Uh, when you listen to it, you, you feel like this is a very uplifting record and, you know, positive record. And usually power metal uh, can be like that. Uh, I'm, I can sit here and say that I'm not a huge power metal fan, but this album to me, uh, with the progressive side of it, makes it really enjoyable. And I think the vocals, like I said before, are great. So, to me, it doesn't rely on that. Like, you know, power metal sometimes can be corny. Uh, to me, this album re relies more on feeling and, and you know, and tone. And that is why it's I, I enjoyed it, unlike some other power metal bands. So uh, the tracks here, you know, they released two singles. It's Mosaic and Return to Dust. And Mosaic is really a very good track. It's it, That's like one of the most power metal tracks on the record. Uh, again, the vocals are front and center on this song and it's all about like painting a picture, if you will, like a mosaic. And another thing that uh, is really good in this track is the drumming. Very, very like solid drumming and, and, and fast at times. Return to Dust, it's all about soaring vocals and soaring guitars. And it's really great and has a very like catchy tone to the guitar to it so I really enjoyed that one but other tracks that are not singles like uh, Day Fight that one really puts in more like a fresh metal element to it at least in the riffing blending the power metal with it to make it a very cohesive and good experience uh, then you have a track that is called The Greatest Hope and that's like the power ballad uh, that really reminded me a little bit of like a dream theater song especially in the vocals, a little bit of like James Labrie worship, if you will. And that track is like a palate cleanser to what is the best songs on the album that are the two album closers. You have Liar, Fool or Messiah and Red Sea. And Red Sea is an epic 19 minute closer. And Liar, Fool or Messiah is almost eight minutes in length. So Liar, Fool and Messiah has a lot of like guitar driven thrash metal elements to it in the delivery of the guitar. So it's one of the most aggressive songs on the record. But again, like the vocals 
fit in so well and it's all about you know like uh when people are liar fools or a messiah so it it carries that message that sometimes there's a lot of messiahs that are fake messiahs and they're bringing you like uh some information that is not true and the gang vocals here are great uh the when they do those fresher metal metal like riffing i really enjoyed it and made it stand out and it's really a great track all around uh red sea which finishes the album it's a song all about moses and how he's taking his people away from egypt so it's a great story and this is the most progressive song on the record because it goes through so peaks and valleys like there's like super riffish part then there's like a more melodic mellow parts in the middle uh it's a song that really relies on spacing and the spacing here is done perfectly to it so that's why i think this song works perfectly as a closer uh other tracks on the record i think flicker and anonymous start the album on a very high note uh and this is an album that even though it's a long album you never get bored with it because it's you know it's always energetic and that's why like it only has that ballad the greatest hope but it's not boring at all it's like a palate cleanser for the almost uh 28 minute two album closer that you have so i would recommend theocracy for people who like power metal mixed with progressive metal uh yes they're a religious band so if if you don't like that message then oh well but go in it with an open mind because it's not a preachy album so yeah i was presently surprised by this album and if you want to know more about this record i interviewed matt smith on the channel and we talk a lot about all about this record about theocracy and more of the deep meanings of the song so if you haven't checked that out i'm gonna put it somewhere around here so you can watch that interview so what are your favorite tracks of theocracy mosaic uh, tell me i would really want to know and if you like the videos that i'm putting out do not forget to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe i have more content on the way so until next time this is hector the shield dude on a couch and i'll see you right here on the couch thank you and good night